Data science, the buzzword that the 21st century was introduced to not very long ago. It is one of these careers that is showing nothing but immense potential to change the way we work with data and computers itself. In this career, there is always a requirement for experts and always a chance for growth as the days progress. Keeping this in mind, we here at Great Learning have come up with this video guiding you all on the data science career roadmap for the year 2021 and beyond. Before we begin with the video, let me take a second to tell you about Great Learning Academy. We started this venture to provide free courses and certifications across a variety of domains, be it data science, be it artificial intelligence, cloud computing, machine learning, or a lot of others as well. And in many cases, we have courses in Hindi as well. These courses are taught by subject matter experts, so make sure to check out Great Learning Academy. Further details are put up in the description box below. Now on that note, if you guys are new to the Great Learning channel, do take a second to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. Now, if you're in this video, I'm sure you've heard of the term data science at least once in your life. But did you know that it is among the top 10 careers to have in the entire world of technology as it stands? Now, there are several reasons for the popularity of data science as you could already pick up from the video, but delving deeper into the fact that it's an ocean worth of information on its own. But to give you a glance about why data science is so popular, I can talk to you about four important points. One, it is the most important aspect when it comes to providing artificial intelligence based solutions to the problems we face today. Second, companies across the globe, be it startups or giants on the fortune list, have realized the power of data science and hence thousands of companies have adopted the concepts of data science in one way or another. Now third, guess which roles are among the highest paid jobs in this decade? Well, data science of course. And number four, we generate petabytes worth of data every single hour and it becomes so vital that we make use of this data and drive analytics out of them. After all, data is a treasure trove and you never know what you will uncover when you're working with it, correct? Now coming to the roadmap for data science in the year 2021, you really have to begin your quest by asking the following questions. Well, the questions are like this, how to become a data scientist? Can I look towards data science post COVID-19? I have no exposure to programming. Can I take up data science? Do I have to have a computer science degree compulsorily? Now do jot down all of the answers. And in fact, you can head to the comment section and put down your answers there, but it's very vital that you know the answers to these questions before you begin with this video. Well, now, now, now let's get started with this journey. You can be a college student, a graduate, a professional, or a person who is looking towards data science as well. This will help you out. The first thing that you should always look upon is mathematics. It literally is the foundation of so many concepts that you'll be using in the later stages of data science. And also, did you know that machine learning works on the basis of math and statistics to a great extent? See, it's very important to emphasize a strong foundation in mathematics should be your starting point of your flourishing career in data science. So on that note, what all will you require in mathematics to get started towards data science in 2021, you ask? A good knowledge of differential calculus, linear algebra, matrix operations, probability theory, and of course, permutation and combination are some things that you will definitely have to look at. Now let's move one step closer to reaching the destination here. Step two is definitely statistics in my option. This will be complementary to the mathematical concept you studied previously, and hence it's a fitting choice for the second place on this roadmap. Now see, the role of statistics in data science is key. It is used uh, to simplify the mathematical operations on a real-time data that we have at hand, which definitely is the need of the hour in a production environment today. And one more thing you should be aware is that statistical thinking is an approach, right? Rather than a concept when you look at it. And of course, when you plan to put it to good use. Now, if you have a mathematics background, use it to put theory into practice. If you do not have a mathematics background, then work through understanding the logic, understanding how the calculation takes place. 
So now uh, you will have a question saying, okay, so what all are the things that I need for statistics if I'm working towards my data science career? Well, you will require everything from the measures of central tendency like uh, mean, median and mode. You have measures of spread such as the interquartile range and the standard deviation. Uh, you have to understand how to spot and work with a good amount of skewed data and of course the types of statistics as well. And then there's a lot even uh, in the case of practical applications when we're talking about statistics and that is very important. And then coming on to step three. See, step three is something you definitely expected on this roadmap. Yes, we are talking about programming, ladies and gentlemen. Programming is the heart of making computers understand the data and help machines work with math and machine learning and whatnot to make them that much intelligent enough where they provide amazing results to us, right? So here's a shakedown. See, you will require fundamentals in languages such as Python and R because this will take you a long way in your data science career. So it is highly recommended that you get started with these languages. Second, understanding control structures and object-oriented programming concepts are a must. And of course, working with a variety of data uh, in a seamless fashion is also an important skill that you should have. To break it down, you would require the knowledge of the basic syntax of a programming language, the data structures that are used, concepts such as exception handling, and of course, uh, you know, working with multidimensional data. Now, data science talks about how we can use science to go on and handle large amounts of data and use it effectively. Data is the new oil. It's a very famous quote among us data science folk. It is highly coveted in today's world of information, of course. And also, you have to learn about bringing in data to the organization from a variety of sources, right? We call this data ingestion and it forms to be uh, the most important step in the data science life cycle. And what comes after data ingestion? Data manipulation, of course. You have to understand how you can work with the data before you can let a machine learning algorithm take over and learn from it. Now, I said machine learning, and I hope you are as excited as me about this. Even before we talk about machine learning, guys, do understand this. Skipping the concepts of mathematics and statistics to get to machine learning real quick will not work in the long term. But yes, this is the most exciting step of learning. But, but, but make sure you know everything there is to know about the concepts of mathematics and statistics uh, before you get here. And of course, you can always begin by by uh, understanding the terminologies and understanding how basic algorithms work before taking a step ahead in machine learning. Now, after this, your learning should be aimed at using a result-oriented approach where you can look at things such as recommendation systems, principal component analysis, which is basically PCA, and of course, trending algorithms, semi-supervised learning, and all of these concepts more. So what do we do after machine learning, you ask? Well, it's deep learning, of course, right? Deep learning is a key part of your data science journey. And as of 2021, it's in a high demand as well. The fascinating concept of neural networks is something you should learn. This is the closest that we can get machines to come across and behave as a human brain. And as always, it is very vital to understand the latest trends uh, and the requirements too. Now to go about learning, I would highly suggest you look at Python libraries such as TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, Theano, and more. So what should you be learning in deep learning? What should you know in deep learning? Well, the current market asks that you know your way around natural language processing, the concepts of uh, NLP as it's called, you have image recognition and the foundations of CNN and RNN, which is basically convolutional neural networks and recurrent neural networks. Now, working with data and producing fantastic results are only 50% of the total job here. It is not always viable to show maybe 10,000 row or columnar worth of data to your board members, right? Now, this is where data visualization comes into the picture. Using this, we tell stories from the data and we create beautiful looking visualizations. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the most sought after skill today in the world of data science. It is a combination of mathematics, art, data, organization, and creativity. This is what makes you a data scientist, at least in my opinion, if I'm being honest. And one way to go about thinking uh, is that, you know, you have to make the end result understandable to a child if that is needed. That is the aspect of a good data scientist. Now, understanding data streaming, dashboarding tools, 
tools, a variety of charts, plots, and a business intelligence tool like Tableau will add a lot of value to kickstart your career in data science. Now what next? Well, big data, of course, we live in a world that generates too much of data every single day. And to data science, data is the fuel. So it is extremely vital that you have the capacity to understand the current offerings to help you with the data requirements and how best you can use them. Thinking about solving the world's big data problem is also a part of a data scientist's role. You can always begin by learning about the Apache ecosystem and also knowing about the offerings such as PySpark, uh, Spark R, Scala and more will definitely take you a long way. Now, to wrap up the roadmap, uh, you know, we have one last thing that you should definitely know as a budding data scientist, uh, it's version control. Now, here's a question I'll ask you guys. What's more messed up? Too many people cooking the same bowl of pasta or too many people editing the same files in a production environment? Well, if you answered pasta, well, let me tell you otherwise. See, multiple people working on the same set of files is extremely common in a working environment. Knowledge of branching, repositories and Git is a requirement to make sure things don't come to a grinding halt in terms of product or service delivery. And of course, it adds a real nice sparkle to your resume if you are a professional at version control. Now, you have multiple routes you can take to the destination uh, of you guys becoming proficient data scientists. Here I have mentioned one of the most recommended routes by us experts that will help you get started real quick and of course take you a long way if not all the way to your destination of you guys becoming proficient data scientists. On this note, I wish you all the very best for your data science career ahead. And guys, to reiterate, I would definitely think that Great Learning Academy will help in adding a wealth of knowledge to help you with your career along with the provision of certificate for all of the courses for free. So make sure you check out Great Learning Academy. Now on that note, if you guys are new to the Great Learning channel, do take a second to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon.